Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video and today we're looking at a ton of things. We're going to be starting off with the, uh, it's all things Rocket Season 5 theory stuff, um, but a lot of proof. Uh, an Epic employee has tweeted something confirming time travel. Uh, we've also got the decoding of the message, that secret message that the rocket uh, had voiced, or that, that that voice that came from the rocket, that mysterious voice that you could barely hear, and it's kind of starting to tie everything together. Um, so, without further ado, let's get right into it, everybody. So, starting off, I'm gonna play this uh, quick clip here so that you have an idea of what I'm talking about. The rocket launch was yesterday, and I've already done one video on the theory, uh, on the two theories, the dome theory and the uh, kind of the the rift in in, in space time continuum time travel theory. Those are the two big ones. The dome one at this point is is pretty disproved due to uh, people saying, well, how would meteors have gotten through a dome? Uh, so a lot of people are back on the time travel side, and I think you should be too, and you're about to see why. So let's start with this first. Uh, here is the clip of that mysterious voice from the rocket. Now, there was a Reddit post made uh, asking what people thought this was. What, what, what do they think it is? And uh, a couple smart people, well, the first one, Smelly Anus, zero point oscillator on, set coordinates, engaging multi fueled accelerator. So that is, uh, that, that's what it is. That's absolutely correct. That had like 700 or 630 upvotes at the time of this recording. Now, what the heck does all that mean? Well, let's get an even smarter guy, Sundiata1, uh, who comes in to define some of these things, which helps um, evolve the theory a little bit. All right, so starting off, zero point Wikipedia. Zero point energy ZPE or ground state energy is the lowest possible energy that a quantum mechanical system may have. Okay, an oscillator is, an, uh, is a device for generating oscillating electric currents or voltages by non-mechanical means. So uh, there's our definitions. Does that help us at all? Not really. That kind of went right over my head, man. So thank God he has an edit to this um, to explain it. So it's a little bit longer, but I'll, I'll read it out for you. And again, credit to all this stuff will be in the description below if you want to read along with me. People seem to be confused. The links are right there if you need them. Granted, this wiki thread may be better suited for oscillations in this sense. Quantum mechanics is screwy stuff that the smartest people on Earth don't have a clue of what or why it's doing what it does. In quantum mechanics, it can be observed that tiny particles will disappear from existence. That makes no sense since matter cannot be destroyed without being transformed into energy. What we find is that these same, same particles will reappear elsewhere. It's literally teleportation and it happens all the time. Zero point isn't just like, oh crap, we ran out of en energy, but rather it's about the depletion of the particle's existence. Uh, oscillation refers to something turning on and off, going back and forth. The zero point oscillator would theori theoretically be capable of harnessing the teleportation power. Our alien friend teleported home. Yay! But it looks like he screwed something up on his departure. Looks like an excuse to introduce a temporary teleportation mechanic at Lo Lonely Lodge entrance, etc. Maybe some fine times, some fun time space continuum nonsense as well. Oh my God, man! <laughs> so, uh, so basically, to sum that up, um, it, this obviously this device does not actually exist, but this uh, quantum mechanics thing, what a zero point energy thing, does exist but no one knows how to explain it. Um, but in Fortnite, they've said that there's basically this rocket is is part of, is either the device that, uh, let's just say it is a device that is able to harness this teleportation uh, power, and that's why we were seeing it teleport uh, in different spots during the launch sequence. So very, very cool, and thanks again to this guy for just being so freaking smart, man. So... Keep that in mind, all right? I'm kind of going to hit you with all the info first, and then we're going to go into the, the final theory at the end of this with all this brand new info. And right now, I'm going to quickly interrupt. I just want to remind you guys, I keep dropping this stat on you. 75% of you guys that watch these videos uh, are not subscribed to the channel. So if you wouldn't mind, right now, take a quick second. Hit that subscribe button, even turn the notifications on if you can, and uh, touch that like button. And of course, please leave a comment, man. So many of you guys were tweeting me theories, uh, commenting theories on yesterday's video. I love reading them. It's so interesting to see, uh, and just thank you so much for the support. Okay, 
there's a there's a big picture here and it's kind of a map of what happened now I'm a little late to report this but I wanted to do it in one big video so it kind of made sense Donald Muster who is the creator the creative director of epic um, he said he, he made a tweet uh, yesterday or yesterday morning uh, before the launch be excellent to each other okay that's a little random what does that mean well if we follow this map be excellent to each other is from a movie called Bill and Ted's excellent adventure and uh, in this it's uh, I, I've never seen the movie I gotta be honest with you but two seemingly dumb teens set off on a quest to prepare the ultimate historical presentation with the help of a time machine <laughs> so I think he's hinting at something. I think our boy Donald Mustard just gave us a clue and just confirmed time machine, uh, time travel. It's going down, man. It's going down. So I thought I'd drop this news on you because it's pretty cool. It's pretty hype. Now, the last two things we're going to look at, this one here isn't, uh, isn't too helpful, but I thought you guys would be interested in seeing it. So here's a picture of uh, uh, someone made this, and it is just a, a map with the rocket launch, uh, the, the whole launch in the area. So here it is. And it starts off, obviously, the launch. It goes up in the sky. Warp 1 is right above Tilted. Boom, Warp 2 is at Moisty Mire. Warp 3 is at Greasy Grove. Yes, in that B6 spot. So uh, I should quickly interrupt and say my my video on the, the monster buried underground, it just might not be right, man. I, I thought I was onto something, but maybe I'm completely wrong. I thought I had it, man, but it looks like that was... Um, those were coordinates for one of the warps uh, because the other warp was in Moisty Mire um, and, and there were coordinates for that found in kind of the same audio uh, diagram, whatever the heck that is. Warp 4 is Loot Lake and of course uh, the crack is now above Salty Springs, Dusty Divot area and the engine has fallen in Anarchy Acre. So I thought that's very cool to see, just to, to have exact points and know where it's at. And we'll move on to one final thing, and that is, um, if you don't know already, you probably do, at Wailing Woods, there is a, uh, there is a portal now. Like, uh, uh, it says, welcome to, I don't know what it actually says, but you see a picture there. Uh, welcome to the lodge, am I right? And it is, it's a portal. Now, I quickly wanted to point out as well, you remember the movie title at Risky Reels, I believe, three or four updates ago total including content updates uh one of the things was the cabin in the woods well i think we finally found out what that meant right because uh this is obviously the cabin in the woods and uh it seems that this is our first portal and maybe there will be more i'm not too sure uh but that, that this kind of leads us into the theory that's all the stuff i wanted to show you all the evidence all the proof now let's move into a big old freaking theory and this gets fun so so stick around this next post i'm going to talk about at the time of this uh recording only has 27 upvotes and uh, but it's so good man it's so good atomic xlc and he the reason i'm using his post is i i basically completely agree with this guy i think this is what's going down and it's it's very similar to the theory video i made earlier with a couple of updates to that theory with the new evidence that we now have all right so uh i'm not gonna show pictures of anything because it's pretty long so if you want to read along with me uh it's a it's a couple paragraphs it's not a big deal but sit back relax and let me do some talking all right Finally, starting off with my theory, there were many leaks on Season 5 being ancient history themed. I think this will happen, but we have to discuss how it will happen. I believe that the visitor has left the dimension and entered a new one. I say this because he disappeared, made a portal type thing, and there was a voice in the rocket saying, engaging multidimensional or something like that. And yes, that is what it was said, multidimensional. Um, so that, that adds up, obviously. But he accidentally left that crack in this dimension. This has caused a massive ripple in the space-time continuum, and now things are going to leak through the portal from hundreds of years ago. The Season 5 trailer will be all kinds of things flooding out of the crack in the sky and falling onto the map, and we will get a new point of interest, possibly the Pyramids of Geyser. Is it Geyser? Or Gey I'm not too sure on that one. Or something along those lines. We also get a history-themed battle pass. This also ties in with a rumor, rumor about the Red Knight returning with the data mine Crimson Axe. A knight is mentioned in the game files for the pickaxe. Uh, also, the Skystalker skin we got was from World War One, which, of course, was a long time ago. 
so that, that there it is. That's all the info. And he adds a, a couple edits at the bottom. Uh, and basically, the rift could also pull things from the future as well. Someone brought up then. Then how does the portal have to do with it? What is this portal thing? And, and that's something I'm confused about as well. And he said, you know, maybe every point of interest point of interest will transform one by one into the history theme. Uh, and maybe that portal is just a, a mini rift or something like that. But I gotta be honest, that's one I can't explain at this point. Again, leave your comments down below what you think. The final one here is uh, the visitor teleported many times and ended up in all kinds of eras, possibly. That's what all the different teleportations was. Other people are saying those teleportations are what caught, what allowed the uh, uh, this rocket to gain momentum. Those are kind of the two theories right now with why there were so many teleportations before the final uh, release, before the final crack rift. And... Uh, and that's about it, man. I mean, also the Leviathan or the monster, there is, there's something like that out there with the, the footprint, right? I don't really have evidence at this point to, to argue that at all. So we're going to leave the Leviathan, the monster out of it for, uh, for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we're done with another video, man. I'm having a time, man. I'm having a ball making these things. You guys know I enjoy the heck out of this. Fortnite is the best game ever invented now, man. It, after yesterday... I can easily say that like what a cool event the things they're doing are blowing my mind I'm having just just an awesome time making videos so I want to say thank you so much for watching the support on the channel has been unreal and uh, one more time if you could touch that like button make sure to leave a comment down below and please join the rushers by subscribing to my channel and turn those notifications on you don't know how much it helps in this YouTube game it really goes a long way I got another really good video coming your way tonight um, that's planned unless something new comes out I'll obviously have you updated right away uh, but yeah other than that take care have a good one talk soon goodbye